Hi there guys, it's Danny, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be finishing off the image of Dio from um, the K-pop group EXO. I don't know if I'm saying his name correct, so bear with me on that one. This was actually one of the easiest images to draw. It was also one of the just easiest images in general. I really enjoy doing this one. I liked his pose and I felt that it kind of fit the personality that you get to see kind of like, well, when the camera's on him. His face isn't in too much shadow, so I simply just layered the E50 and the satin colours a couple of times to get a fairly smooth shading so it didn't contrast too much with each other. I couldn't find the right shades for his lips because, as I've said in previous videos, I have a very limited amount of pens and pencils, but I think I managed to get fairly close enough. His hair is completely black and would have looked too solid, so I decided to add a dark brown and then a dark grey to try and make parts stand out and then to darken the whole thing, I used... I believe it was the black Prismacolor pencil. Could be wrong on the brand. I did like the stark contrast he had between the dark of his hair and his jacket and his very pale face. I really kind of enjoy that almost black and white contrast to one another. Also, I think the piece really comes together with the pose that he's in and the expression that he has. Leads to a very dark, and brooding image almost. I definitely think that this image really started coming together once I added the pencils layer, especially on his hair. But using the pencil crayons helped with the the colouring of his lips because obviously I wanted to make his bottom lip stand out and where the top lip hangs over slightly. I will admit I did mess up ever so slightly on his eye. From the angle that he's at, his more visible eye is rounder. Um, you can't see the inner corner of it, but for some reason I drew it in. So I tried to change this a little bit by using a black pencil and darkening the eye area. Also by darkening the eye area, it made the image look more brooding. But Dio has very dark, thick eyelashes to begin with anyway. So, you know, making his eyelashes a little bit thicker than normal didn't stand out too much. Now, I actually really enjoy doing these pieces. When I first started them, I didn't think I would like the realistic style because I used to just primarily draw animes and stuff. But I'm actually really getting into this and I'm hoping to do even more kind of a k-pop series and maybe doing either just random characters that I think of in my head or taking a different style and making it a more realistic style. You'll have to let me know down below if anyone would be interested in that. Now with the shading and the colouring of the image itself and the look that it was kind of giving off the whole dark broody feeling. I was unsure of what colour the background I would do. Now it said that Dio's favourite colour is black and I wasn't sure at first if I was going to do that. I didn't want to leave the background white because that would contrast too much with his face. I wasn't sure about doing it black because I thought that would blend in too much with the coat. But I thought, you know, why not be a bit daring? If I don't like it, I can just redraw the picture and try it again. So I started off with a black pencil, but that looked really patchy to me. And I left a white outline around the image, so to try and make him stand out. So after I did the pencil layer, I decided to finish off the details on Dio with the mechanical pencil. And then I coloured in the background with a black marker and I actually really liked the look of it. Halfway through I was thinking I'm hating this, I don't like this, I think I've completely ruined this image. 
But once I'd done it, I actually really enjoyed it. So I'll stop talking at this point and leave you with music. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and if you have any requests to... I don't know, any other idols or actors or anything really, leave a request or a comment down below and I'll see what I can do about it. See you in the next one. Bye!